ACCA and CA, what are the differences, what are the similarities and most importantly, what is the right option for you? Stay tuned till the end of this video where I'll be answering all these questions and most importantly, figuring out the roadmap for you. If this is the first time you're visiting our channel, then please do click subscribe. It'll help us reach out to more and more students like you guys. And if you find value in this video, then give us a thumbs up. All right, first things first, we have, you know, thousands of people who've given actually both the exams. And here's what they have to say. Uh, you know, people may wrongly feel that the exam of ACCA is simpler. But here's what you get from people who've given both the exams. If I take the final level CA paper of accounts and the final level uh, ACCA paper of accounts, everybody feels that both of them are similar in difficulty. You have to put the same amount of effort to clear both the exams. So then how is it that people feel ACC is easier? And these are where the differences between the two qualifications come in. ACC is not more easy because of the paper or because of the syllabus, but it's more easy because of the structure. So let's talk about three differences uh, when it comes to why ACC seems to be easier than CA. Number one, in CA, I cannot give one paper of accounts at a time. I need to go in what we call the group system. Now, recently there's been a change and CA expects you that at each, at the second and the third level, inter C and final C level, each group is three papers, which means I cannot give one paper at a time. I have to give a minimum of three papers at a time. That means even if I want to just focus on one paper, I cannot. I have to give all together. And here's the problem. Out of the three, if I fail one paper by one mark, I have to give the entire group again. Here in ACC, the difference is that I have the option of giving one paper at a time, two papers, three papers or four papers at a time. So if I want to give the accounts paper in isolation, I can put complete focus, give that paper, pass and move on. And if I want it like CA to give it in a group of three papers, I can as well. But the advantage is if I give three papers in ACC just to compare and I don't clear one paper, I'm done with the other two. I just have to repeat the paper I didn't clear. That too, with the next two papers, so I'm al always moving forward. Second problem is what we call the aggregate system. Right? Now we all know in CA that in one group right, of three papers, you need to score a total of 150 on 300 and you need to pass each of the three papers by scoring more than 40. Which means you might have cleared each paper, but if the aggregate is not there, once again, you don't end up clearing, which also is not there in ACC because there's no concept of group. So like I gave in the previous example, let's say you give three papers of ACCA together. You need to score 50 or 100 in isolation from each and that's it. Once again, making it slightly more com comfortable for you to give multiple papers in ACCA if you want without the risk of repeating all of them if you just mess up one of them. Finally, the exam duration. CA exams are held every six months, which means students who land up, keep, like I said, you know, they give a group, don't give one paper, they have to give all the papers after half a year. And they basically, twice you pay, you waste a year of your life. In ACCA, the advantage is, the exams are on average every quarter. Which means, like I said, let's go through this again, right? Three papers, you give in ACCA, your choice. You can give two, you can give one. But let's say you give three. You don't give one paper, no problem. You're done with the other two. Only give the third paper with the next two papers every three months if you want. So the ability for you to clear the exams is much faster. And by the way, don't worry about giving too many papers. This was an example. What you should actually do, let us know. We'll help you sort of build your journey, your roadmap uh, for ACCA. But the point, this is the reason that the passing rate of ACC is way more than that of CA. We all know CA passing rate on an average is single digits um, across the all the levels. Whereas for ACCA, the global average across the planet has been around 40%. So in ACA, while 1 out of 10 people land up clearing, uh, in, in ACCA, 4 out of 10 land up clearing. Alright, second biggest difference is the time. CA, if you clear everything in the first go, will take you around four and a half years approximately, uh, which includes two years of articleship now. In ACCA, the quickest you can complete is your exams is 18 months. And if you have certain things called exemptions for which you should look at our other videos, if you are entitled to exemption in ACCA, which means you don't have to give the entire exam, you have to give only some levels or some exam, you can take lesser than 18 months to clear all the exams. So this is the main difference that right? people have to, um, one of my counselors was just talking to some student. Uh, he was a graduate working at KPMG. I was thinking between CA and ACCA. And he's basically pursuing ACCA primarily because he doesn't want to waste time. And he knows that if he goes aggressive in a year, he can complete ACCA. If he's a little, you know, average speed, he can take it in one, one and a half years. But CA would be at least four years, if not more. 
the also beyond this the advantage of acca is you don't have to go for your article ship which in ca has now become 2 years and it's mandatory mandatory to do it between ipcc or inter ca and final ca in acca you have to go through what we call per which is your article ship equivalent and it's for 3 years but you can actually do this before during or after your exams so as a student your main headache is giving the exams you can decide to focus only on exams and move out of the without combining it with work if you are already working you can count all of that experience if it's related to finance and accounts you can count all of that experience towards acc so that flexibility is extremely high with the way you want to give the exams with the speed at which you want to give the exams as well as the work experience so just to summarize these two points guys if you're looking for the flexibility and the time advantage between these two qualifications acca wins it for sure now let's talk about some other aspects signing authority if you want to work in india and you want signing authority ca is the only option which uh, is the only qualification which allows you signing authority whereas acca while you can work like a ca in india you do not have signing authority in india acca gives you signing authority in countries like uk dubai etc but in india if you want to start your own ca firm or you want to become a partner in an existing ca firm you'll have to do ca so if you want to ensure that you have signing authority in india go for ca the only thing i've seen over the last so many years you know after talking to tens of thousands of students who want to do something in the field of ca is they want to become an expert in this field of finance and accounts they want a reliable qualification but they don't want to practice if that's your case then either options are great for you next when it comes to international opportunities once again of course acca by nature is global but see i know a lot of my seniors back from pwc who are now working with companies like australia kpmg or pwc singapore and that's because they have so much of an of course ca prepares you for the best kind of exposure in the world they worked in a company like pwc for a few years really did well so then they started getting opportunities to go overseas so ca can also get you overseas but you'll have to really you know work your way there or as for acca because the qualification is recognized in many countries you can land up going there just by ensuring that you have a few things in place uh, beyond the qualification itself lastly when it comes to the amount you have to study and the fee structure so in ca we know it's the reputation it has it really deserves cuz you need to put in 10 12 hours 8 10 hours every day for a few years back to back um and that is why the ca community and fraternity have so much of respect because it's not easy to do that acca it's much more flexible it's much more case study oriented you have to put in massive effort no doubt but it is definitely not as tedious uh, when it comes to effort lastly the fee structure ca with uh, during the entire duration of 4 5 years you know all the body fees all the training fees it will come around 2 to 3 lakhs in today's world uh, spread over the entire dura- duration acc is around 4 4 and a half lakhs uh, again including what we paid the body as well as the training over the period of 2 to 2 and a half years and both of these qualifications if you complete and you become a member in both the fresher salary ranges anywhere between 6 to 12 lakhs depending on your interview depending on the company and depending on your personal profile now it comes to similarities the number one similarity is the curriculum when in acc and ca 80% of what you cover is the same right now i know acc is a little global in nature so you might have you know you cover a bit of international auditing standards international accounting standards a little bit of taxation but majority of the base is the same you learn accounting in conceptually the same and now with indias ifrs for those who understand it indias is what we learn in ca ifrs is what we learn in acca this is in under accounts and both of these are 95% the same so if you learn accounts it's the same you learn auditing all the standards of india and all the international standards again have a massive overlap auditing becomes the same uh, costing is now no more there in the final ca level but costing in both the qualification again is the same financial management again is the same taxation conceptually is again the same so you more or less learn a lot of the syllabus that overlaps the work experience we've done article ship in ca it's going to count towards the article ship in acc so that doesn't actually you know that's completely an overlap these kind of things are similar both have three levels both have massive amount of effort post completing both qualifications what you do in life is more or less also you can go down the same road right we have had cas and accs with us who become cfos who started their own ventures and were still working in the big four in multinationals or their father's family business and all of them are thriving in their own particular way in fact we had some people who even became content creators after doing accs so you know you can go on and on with the kind of opportunities you have
finally what's the right option for you if you've not begun anything uh, i would suggest understand these questions decide do you want signing authority if that's a no which i know is not the case unless you have a ca form handed over to you for most of us uh then both become equal options and then you have to ask more questions do you want which has international exposure maybe acca do you want time value time is was my biggest asset when i did acca so i would say you know you can complete it in half the time a ca go for it with almost the same outcome if you want you know no doubt about value in india and you have the time then do ca uh but if you want flexibility you are not sure of what to do i would always recommend to acca because you can always do ca later and acca acca gives you almost everything you would want if not more than what ca is already giving so that is for if you start today now what if you are already a ca hands down i tell you take up acca because here are the benefits for you if you have already gone through the ca grind the syllabus like i said almost overlaps the article ship is fully going to be counted for acca you know because of your ca you get 9 out of 13 exemptions in acca you have to only give the final four papers which you can give in approximately 6 months comfortably uh the cost of acca becomes half for you so if you're a ca adding this international qualification on your profile is almost a no brainer quite manageable along with your work uh, of course you have to put an effort but it definitely is you know how they say it's a steal of a deal if you tell me so i would say if you're already a ca then 100% add acca and finally let's say you're in the middle of ca there is where it's difficult right if you are not clearing either inter ca or final ca you've given more than two attempts and you're not clearing my advice to many people is just finish acca because again if you've completed even some papers of ipcc you're going to get exemptions for acca if you take these exemptions you can basically you know you only have to do half of acca which means half the time of what i explained and half the cost of what i explained and i won't say half the effort but definitely the less effort to complete acca move on with your career get that qualification start working and after a year or two maybe if you need go back to ca if you really want to but at least move on with your career and finally if you are at the article ship level currently you are sure you're going to give final ca but it's 2 years away use this time in your article ship to get get done with this additional international qualification i hope that helps you guys and if as always leave something in the comment if there's more that we can do for you thank you